What's up everybody? Got a quick little video here. I got a package in the mail that I've been waiting on. So right here I have my Threadripper 3970X inside of the Fantex 719 case. And this has been an amazing case. Cable management is a breeze for the most part. And just tons of space for all kinds of water cooling. And I got in the mail this Fantex Glacier D140. So let's take a look. So it's a 140 millimeter distribution plate. So it'll go right in the back here. So it's kind of like a universal fit. So if you have a 140 uh, millimeter fan in area right here, it's gonna fit right there. So let's kind of open it up, see what we have. We use uh, wine openers, because we fancy. Let's see if I can pull a Kyle and open this one-handed. Uh, uh, nope. Kyle, you're the man. Shiny. Look at that. So yeah, that's going to be kind of nice. So this is going to look really, really nice right in there. So I'm going to finish the hard tubing um, after I receive a new water block from Optimus. Optimus is a company that makes some really, really nice water cooling parts and they make a very, very high end uh, water block. And so Supposedly, it's coming in the mail soon, but this whole virus stuff has obviously delayed some of their manufacturing process. So I'm really impressed with the quality of this Fantex D140 Glacier. It's really, really nice. It's, it's heavy, it's solid. Um, I may have to fit, buy more fittings though. Uh, I have to check my fitting storage area. Uh, but basically I'm doing all hard tubing. I have a little bit of soft, tu soft tubing right here because I'm waiting on the Optimus water block and they had some you know, manufacturing delays due to this whole, this whole virus stuff. So when that comes in the mail, I'm going to do a nice side by side comparison between the Optimus water block for this Thread Ripper and um, the EK Velocity water block here. Before that, though, I'm going to take out the Velocity water block and clean it all up. You know, it's got a little bit of particles in there that you could see. Uh, so I want to perform it at 100 percent and then we can do a justifiable side by side. I'll do a video for that, you know, tons of data and at that point, I'll choose whichever one's giving me the best performance, even though the Optimus water block looks a lot better. And uh, at that point, I'll install this nice little bad boy here, and we'll do kind of a video of what the hard tubing process is like for that. So this should be a lot of fun. Um, and if you have any questions, hey, put them below. Love reading all the comments from everybody. Uh, and if you like a video like this, you know, please hit that like button. Feel free to subscribe. I'm liking everybody in the comment section you know that i've been interacting with it's definitely been a lot of fun especially in this time of social distancing so uh we can have nice long discussions in the comments area so other than that let me know what other questions you may have maybe on this fantech 719 i love this case it's been my second favorite case the antec 1200 that was my favorite case so uh but we're in a different era of like really nice water cooling so i had to retire that case and other than that, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.